Hello everybody, Pinstripe here. Welcome back to some more Hogs of War. Today, going to be playing as, well, somebody. I don't know who or on what map or on, against what sort of AI, but gameplay is going to be on in the background while we talk about a few things regarding this past week that has just been crazy for me, both in terms of the channel, and in terms of my life, and in terms of competitive, just a bunch of things to talk about. But I want to start by apologizing because uh, before my previous upload, it had been about four days since I had made any sort of content or uploaded anything, and that's mainly been because of my switch in focus to the Hogs of War League channel. For those of you who don't know, myself, Castor, and ADB are currently managing that channel, both in terms of content when it goes up, thumbnails, all sorts of things. Basically trying to make the competitive scene as easy for you guys to access and follow as possible. So because I'm essentially juggling two channels at once, it means that regular videos will be reduced to about two per week, but that's not including the competitive match that I will upload per week of me playing against whoever. It's not something I necessarily want to do, but I almost have to do it. Otherwise, I'm just going to be too overwhelmed with trying to get videos out on the main channel and on the League channel. I mean, the League stuff is easy because the footage is usually pre-recorded and I just have to chuck it into Sony Vegas and it's done. Um, but yeah, it does take a bit of time, again, trying to get thumbnails organized and everything. Those do take a little bit more time than usual. And yeah, you can imagine the, I don't want to call it stress because it's not too stressful at the moment. But I am also assisting and hosting uh, the games for competitive per week. And bearing in mind there's like another nine weeks to go of this. Uh, it's going to be just slowing things down a little bit here on the main channel. Alongside the matches that are uploaded to the League's channel, I will also be looking to do a week by week recap of the results and the upcoming fixtures and basically just going into analysis with Caster and ADB and maybe other guests in regards to just everything competitive. So there is more content over there. It won't just be matches. So uh, do subscribe to that channel if you haven't already. The links will of course be either at the end of this video or in the description or both. So onto the main meat of this video, the actual question as to where am I going? And I mean that both in terms of the channel and the content I'm making and in terms of my own life. Now last week was not great for me because I almost lost my job. And I say almost because I didn't know for about a day or so, it was unknown as to whether or not I would be unemployed and everything just kind of spiraled out of control. It was like someone had pulled the rug out from underneath me and everything I knew was just gone because at that point you know you've, you're like oh I, I need to look for a new job do i look at my old job do i see if i can go back there because you know i need to be making money i need to be paying rent i need to be paying bills and if i can't do that i can't do my other creative things like make videos and and, and live you know just simple things like that like i was immediately thinking about the channel and you know, when if I'm jobless, I don't want to be making videos because I don't deserve to make videos if I'm not earning money. And, and that's kind of the philosophy I've always had in that I won't allow myself to do things that I want to do, create things, play things, just do anything of that nature unless I am set in having a job, earning my own money, you know, being self-sufficient essentially. Immediately it was like I just switched into this mode of nothing else matters until I get another job or you know if it comes to that then I need to get another job. Nothing else can come above that, everything else is below that and until that day occurs, until I do then get another job, I won't be making videos, I won't be playing anything, it will just be day in day out try and get a job and that may seem very robotic but that's just kind of how my brain acted at the time and does act in those situations. So mentally, I wasn't great. I didn't feel like doing anything anyway. Uh, and in some ways, I just felt like a failure, which is kind of what comes with losing your job uh, just unexpectedly. I mean, if you get fired, it's kind of a different situation because, you know, there's reasons involved and whatever. But if it just comes abruptly and, you know, the only reason is that because times are tough, money is money that kind of thing money doesn't grow on trees all that jazz it's it's just difficult to process and I was constantly asking myself you know was there something I could have done better or you know worked harder at you know even if it's not a personal reason as to why you lost your job even if it's not your fault you still can't help but blame yourself because it was your job so yeah last week was physically emotionally and mentally draining for me and when I did then find out that my job was safe you know, it was a very small victory considering the grand scale of everything. 
both in terms of this year and in terms of everybody else's lives because yes you know i may be keeping my job but i know that others may not be so lucky this entire year has just left me feeling uneasy both in terms of my own life and everything going on in the world and just everything in between can this year just be over please that would be great and i just want to move on to slightly more positive things rather than ending this video in such a bleak way <laughs> Um, but in terms of the content that I'm making on this channel, don't worry, I, I'm not stopping anytime soon. I'm not slowing down besides, you know, two videos a week now. But my intention, as it's always been, is to make content and to introduce Hogs of War to both new and old players. New players who have never seen the game before and old veterans who hopefully are rediscovering the game and rediscovering the community and joining us as we go forward with competitive with the Hogs of War miniatures and the card game, with Reheated, with the Open Hogs of War editor. Just everything that we do have to look forward to uh, for this year, or at least things that are going to be coming up within Hogs of War. We have that to look forward to and to enjoy at the very least. And I hope that wherever you are in the world, if you're watching this video, that things are okay with you and that uh, things aren't so bleak in your current location. As cliche as it may be, nobody really knows where they're going in life, but it's made easier by those around us that help and support us along the way. So whoever you are, wherever you may be right now in the world watching this video, I hope that everything is good in your life, everything is positive. If it's not, if there's anything in between that you want to discuss with me and, and you know, just have a chat in the comments, then please let me know who you are, what's going on in your life. I'm always here if you guys want to talk, you know? I don't just want to be a faceless YouTuber that just talks about a game and doesn't interact with you on a human level. But yeah, that is going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will catch you all later for the next one. Peace out, everybody.